Good morning, St. Mary's parishioners. It is your faithful Tom Leah, DRE here. Uh, so we are doing the drawing for the King of Hearts raffle. But first, I am going to use this in anticipation to give a short lesson because I think that's the most important part. Who cares if we win a million dollars from the King of Hearts? If we win eternal salvation, um, nothing here really matters. The only thing that matters is our love for God, right? So keep that in mind. So today's lesson is on the, it is called the scapular of Our Lady of Mount Carmel. I'm sure many of you have seen this. It is uh, something that people question and there's been some yeah, debate about it, but Our Lady uh, gave this devotion, I just read this, um, to Simon Stock, St. Simon Stock, I think in the medieval ages, but that's a pretty broad amount of time, 1251, 1251. And, uh, and so basically she said, anyone who dies clothed in the scapular shall not suffer eternal fire. Um, and there was an exorcism one time that was occurring and the demon who was being exorcised screamed at, you know, this person who is wearing a scapular and he said like, take that. And then he said the D word thing off because it snatches so many souls from us. So souls who would have otherwise fallen into hell uh, were preserved from, you know, the, um, you know, they were preserved by the scapular and people at seminary were like, well, does that mean you can just go do whatever you want? You know, like, like, I don't know, you know, I mean, it just seems like this is what our lady said. I'm not going to like, you know, question it, but that's just, that's just the promise. You know, I guess the idea is like, you know, if you're wearing the scapular, um, God and his, in his divine wisdom and his divine power, like if you're abusing it, you know, could either weaken your, you know, weaken your, your devotion to it or, or it could weaken your spirit or, or you could die without it or whatever. I wouldn't test the mother of God, right? Like I wouldn't take her off, you know? Um, so we do the best we can, but we have it as like a, just a protection. I love the scapula. I always have it shower. If I'm swimming, if I'm doing literally anything, I never take it off. Um, it is like, you know, just like in my heart, it's just beautiful. It's like, if I die, let's say I get hit by a car, there's two promises. So you won't go to hell. And then Our Lady appeared to Pope, somebody or another, and she said the qualifications for the scapular are um, you have to be in the state of chastity in your state in life. So if you're married, you have to live within the bounds of chastity in that particular state. If you're single, um, which is everyone in my NCYC group and me and um, anyone under the age of 18 that I know of uh, in this parish, uh, you live a life of... of Chastity, so no sex, no fornication, no masturbation, no like any of that stuff. Um, and uh, and so what she promises that on the third day or on the Saturday after your death, that she will descend into purgatory and bring you to like eternal salvation, which is just like crazy, you know, like the amount of I don't know the amount of time that we can spend in there. Like you know, one w woman was told that she would be there till the end of time because she died during an abortion. Um, and St. John Vianney, uh, oh no, it was the children of Fatima. Uh, they had revealed this to us. Anyways, I'm going too long. Um, but yes, I just ordered like 24 of them. So you had to come. The priest has to give you a special blessing. He enrolls you in the confraternity of the, sc the scapular. Then the promises apply to you as long as you're wearing it. Okay. Let us do the great raffle. So... The person who won last time did do this again. So if he wins, it's not my fault. I am just God's instrument. So, oops, I almost looked there. Okie doke. So once again, you can tell I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Neil Haddon. So, I actually, this is the one person that didn't give me a number. I will reach out to you if I cannot contact you before Sunday. If I can't t contact you by Saturday evening, I'm going to draw again. Um, I, I, I think for the, the form or whatever, it had a number uh, right underneath that. I didn't get a number from you, so I'm going to do my best to reach out to you. If I can't find you, we're going to redraw. Uh, if you don't hear from me, then just assume you didn't win. Um, okie doke. Say a quick prayer for Tom Leah. And uh, yeah, hopefully you all have a happy 4th of July. God bless you. Thank you so much. Bye.